it's my art. And there's a big pile up here as well. This is all the stuff that I haven't framed or I don't plan on framing or I want to frame and I gotta go buy frames, but I'm just too lazy to go do that. I have had a few people ask me to film a video of all the art that I have not put on my walls yet. Plus, I have had a ton of people asking me to do another tracing video, so we're gonna take care of that, both things, in one video. video. And if you enjoy this, throw a like. Like, I'm trying to figure out how to, sorry, I'm special. <laughs> Throw a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, go check out my vlog channel. It's in the description as well as the Twitter. I have a Twitter. I don't do much on it, but I have one. And yeah, I have a lot of stuff. I don't know how much I'm gonna get through because for me to trace these correctly, I need to take my time, so. I guess it really just depends on my mood and not on my mood because I'm in a good mood. It depends on how much my arm, if it starts to hurt or not, or I don't know. We'll just see. I have no idea what I'm saying. So I want to trace with the porcupine. Oh, my name is Mr. Tattoo. I always have to say that so I then can put my name on the screen. I think it, it'll go there or, or over there. I'm pretty sure it's over here though. Uh, who knows? So. This thing is very scratchy and pokey. I cannot trace art with this as it is. So what I'm going to do is we are going to tape a Q-tip to the end. As you can tell, I have all these out first because I never flattened any of these pieces and they're all just like rolled up in my drawer over there, or in my chest over there. And no, I've never worn those shoes, so don't think that there's dirty shoes on these. This is by Scott Musgrove. This is actually a can, oh no, this isn't canvas. This is a a lithograph, I, I believe. And all of his art, every single piece he's ever done, he has these uh, strange looking animals. That's his thing, weird animals. And they usually always have really big eyes. And this one's just kind of standing on a mound of dirt. And if you look over here, there's a little guy chilling over here as well. All right, now we have to be slow about taking this stuff off because I don't want to damage, no damaging the art. All right, here's another piece by Sauce Christian. You can tell by the eyeballs, all of her art, the eyes are ginormous. This piece actually has a date on it. It's 2005, and uh, this was this is just a poster. If you want to buy any of these pieces that you see, 
um, ask me below in the comment section if they're still available. I know so far the, the ones I've shown you aren't available. You can't buy them anymore. But if you ask me, I would be able to tell you, or you could just look it up yourself. It says, bite me on the inside of her bottom lip. And I just like all the attitude involved in this piece. It's so cool. That's my air conditioning turning on, if you're curious. It's very hot today in Arizona. Oh, I have to put this back. There we go. Careful. These last few pieces are by an artist. Um, Menton, Menton, and he's a comic book artist. He also does graphic novels, and uh, I really, really, really like his art. It's it's amazing. One day I really hope to get these canvas pieces of his framed and put on my wall. This stuff I bought off a of Kickstarter that he did to fund one of his uh, art books. I honestly don't know if you can buy these still. But I love all the dark. He has a lot of darks in his art. And you can tell a lot of symbolism. And I love the trees in the background of this piece. On both sides, they look amazing.
her stuff usually, if it's a numbered print, it'll sell out almost immediately. The only way for me to buy her prints is to go on the website selling them and try to snipe one super quick, right when it goes on sale. And then if I can't do that and I still really want it, I have to stock eBay until one goes for sale for a price that I'm willing to pay. Because her stuff is very sought after. And I know you guys are gonna laugh at me, but I have two of these. This is print 107 out of 500. Now the reason I have two of these is because I bought one off of eBay because I had forgot that I previously had one. I know. I, not smart. I totally agree with you. It was really stupid. But that's what happened with those two pieces. Or the one. Because the other one. Yeah, you guys. Whatever. I'm not making sense. This is by Esau Andrews. And I really love his work. He is my favorite artist ever. Andre Kawasaki. My second favorite, but Esau Andrews is my favorite. I love how surreal his stuff always looks. And I actually really like all the colors that he uses. He, he uses every color of the rainbow. And he paints all of these, which is crazy. He's just an amazing, amazing artist. And his stuff, it's so like magical. I don't know, his stuff is really cool. This is the guy, if you watch the video, actually it's funny because I put the video up yesterday titled The Stuff I Got While I Was Gone for Work. And then the book that I got in that video was a book of all of his art. Every piece of his art sold out. His stuff also sells out very, very quickly. But you can go on eBay and find his stuff for sale. For a price, of course. I really like this Q-tip. It's making all this really soft. And, uh, I don't know, I just like how it feels. Audrey Kawasaki. Oh. I'm gonna try to tell you the print numbers on each one if you guys care or not. 246 out of, and this had a weird print number, out of 448 prints or pieces. Also, er, Aud Aud <laughs> my words are weird tonight. Audrey Kawasaki, this is print 459 out of 1050. I like the cardstock that she prints her stuff on. It has like almost this chalkboard feel to it. It's really cool. And it makes this nice sound when I trace it. If you guys have watched a lot of my videos or you've been here for a while, I think some of this stuff I actually traced already in another video. I'm sure you guys don't mind though. I need to make sure the camera's still recording. I haven't even really been looking at it. The one thing I always have trouble with when I'm tracing something is that I don't start with one thing and work my way through it. I kind of jump all over the whole thing, so. I'll trace something that I might have already traced before, or I will forget to trace things because I won't realize that I haven't traced them. I love this piece so much. Also, Audrey Kawasaki. This is print 75 out of 175. I really like how this one is like framed and then framed almost, and then she's floating in between the frames. It's so cool. Tell her be 
piece is that she always has fun doing the hair. Because the hair always looks so cool. I mean, everything looks cool, but... And I love this tree in the background. It's amazing. This is actually a print by a comic book artist. He does a comic called, uh... What's it called? Arrow Bear and the Kid, I believe. And his name is Mike Crunkle, I think. And this I got from Kickstarter. He did another comic, and then he did like this extra added stuff for people that funded it. And this print, you can like feel it. It's like a relief print almost, where it's like popping up. And it's 39 out of 155. So he is a really big fan of his stuff. It's kind of like Calvin and Hobbes, but it's with a little boy and a stuffed bear instead of a little boy and a stuffed tiger. And he imagines that the bear is alive, but that really it's just a stuffed animal and it's his imagination that brings it alive. But really good comic. I got this from Comic-Con like three or four years ago. I. I don't remember the artist's name. Oh, Chris Burkhardt. This is a very uh, positive piece, as you can tell. This just reminds me of a guy that has like a nine to five job, like an office job, and he hates his life because of the button up shirt and the tie. And this is just how he feels. Like he would never really commit suicide, but he thinks about it sometimes. <laughs> so this piece, I don't know why I bought it because I would never put this on my wall just because how depressing it is. But I do like the spray paint look in the background. And I like the style of the guy. It's like sketchy with a little bit of shadowing in there. I just, I like the look. This is another artist. I have a lot of his stuff. His name is Brian Viveros. This is print 86 out of 100. His stuff always sells out, but usually not as quickly as the uh, Esau Andrews and Audrey Kawasaki stuff. And uh, you can, uh, it'll usually take, I would say, a week for his prints to sell out. So this one is sold out. You can, I know you can find this one on eBay, though. The cool thing about his art is that on eBay it doesn't get marked up as much as Isao Andrews or Audrey Kawasaki's. Their stuff will quadruple in price, even more so, usually. But his stuff will maybe just double off of eBay. So, they're very obtainable. This is just kind of a, a print I got at Comic-Con same time as this other one. It's a remade, like a redone movie poster by N Nightmare on Elm Street. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. And I really like how this looks. I do want to frame this one day and put it on my wall. I love the style of it. It reminds me of like the older movie posters, like Psycho or uh, Dang it, what's that other horror movie I'm trying to think of? Amityville. Or, I just, I don't know why, but this reminds me of it. It's really cool. I like that. Just a couple other prints by the Mike Grunkle guy. I didn't look through this stuff ahead of time. I just kind of grabbed this stack that was uh, on top of my chest. So when I bought them, I don't know what I was thinking, but I have two of them. You'll see the other one in a second. And I was going to frame them on my wall and put them on my wall next to each other. Because I really like how they look. And I like the spackled paint look all over both of them. I don't even remember where I got these from, honestly. But see how they would look, they would look really good next to each other.
guys have seen my vlogs or my uh, art room tours, you would see that I don't have any room on my walls, barely at all. So yeah, there's a sticker. And this is actually an original sketch by Mike Krunkel that he did. Oh, there's, there's two of them. This is what the bear looks like when uh, he's a stuffed animal. And then this is what he looks like when I forget the little boy's name. When he imagines him. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. Probably just keep them in this little envelope forever to keep them safe. It says sketch card and previous backer. Thank you. I, I really don't know how many pieces I have left, so I'm just gonna keep going until I get to the bottom because I can't see the bottom. This is also by Brian Viveros. I really like, this is probably one of my favorite pieces by him. And it's an artist print, three out of 10, which makes it even more valuable. Every time an artist does a series of prints, there'll be artist proofs. And they won't sell these until all of the other prints are sold out. Sometimes they wouldn't even sell these because what these are for is to make sure that the prints that they're gonna print for the series look okay. So these are the proofs. And they'll only sell them if there's no imperfections. So the fact that I got one was super cool. And I was really excited when I, you know, came in the mail. Not only that, but I really love this piece. So much. It's, I don't remember what it's called, but something, you know, regarding the Joker. And it's cool. She has like a little old school Joker tattoo says ah. it says rotten on her cheek all of his the girls that he paints they're always smoking a cigar or a cigarette I don't know why that's so weird and you guys I'm sure know that I don't you know I'm not really into that because <laughs> I don't do drugs or smoke or anything I love this piece but and I would make room for this one on my wall. This is Audrey Kawasaki. It's print 230 out of 250. But I, I can't find a frame for this. So for me to frame this, I would have to get it made. I'd need to get a frame made for it and a frame this size would cost a few hundred bucks. And I'm just not, you know, I don't know. I just have so many of these things that I have to personally frame because the artists, they do them in these weird print sizes. And you can't just go out and buy a frame for them because they don't naturally make frames this size. But I really like this one a lot. It looks different than her other ones in the way that it's framed in black. And uh, her hair is black. That's kind of rare for Audrey Kawasaki. This is done in more of the Japanese style of art, but yeah, I love this one. There's another one that came out around the same time as that one. This is print 1055 out of 1600. I love when she uses black. Whenever I see that she has a burn coming out and there's black involved. I try to get it. I really do. One day, I am going to have a house big enough so that I can frame all of these and put all of my art on my walls. My house is completely crammed full of art. There's not much room left. Was running today I ripped my sleeve when I was taking my shirt off so I had to cut the sleeves off this shirt I know totally random but I felt like you guys needed to know that I like the lattice in the background of this it's cool here is yet another Audrey oh 
there's two. There's one in the back and this one I just saw as well. Okay, this one is print 12.79 out of 21.30. And I'll flip it over and do the other one in a second. I love this one. I'm sure you guys know why. Lots of black involved. I need to make sure the camera does not turn off. I'm not looking at you guys enough. I'm going to get done filming and I'm going to look at the camera and it's going to be off and I'm going to be upset. This is all in, okay, it's all in frame. So I'm going to go see that Quentin Tarantino movie again with Nick tomorrow. I bought my tickets today. I always really love seeing movies twice that I love, like a lot, because the second time I notice all these new things with the movie that I didn't notice the first time. And it's just really exciting to me. So if I 
by something that's not numbered, it's either very hard to attain or it means something to me. All of our work, you can go on Lori Zombie's website and you can buy them still. But all these mean something to me. This, it kind of portrays when I fall for somebody in a relationship, um, I fall 110%. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it is not good. With Katie, it, uh, it kind of, it scared her. So, uh, when we started dating, I told her that I was really falling for her, and uh, I could tell it scared her. It started to push her away, so I had to pull back a little bit. And uh, I know this, that it scared her, because she actually told me. She's very open with how she feels. Sometimes too open. <laughs> but uh, obviously it ended up working out for the better, because we are still together right now. that one. Here, I have this one, and then I have one other piece. So there's this piece and then one more. This one says, I wear the mask because I'm sucks. back and hurt me in the 
end sometimes, and sometimes it has. Well, I'm sorry we did not end with happy pieces. Maybe just that was the only one, but that's everything that I have not framed. I mean, honestly, there is a lot of really little pieces that I haven't framed, and they're in the chest behind me. So if you enjoyed this and you want me to do a video of all the small pieces, let me know. And I can film it and do it in the same exact way that I've done these ones. But like I said, they're all really small. So it'll be more zoomed in and it won't be. Obviously, okay, I don't need to explain it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's everything. So we're going to say our goodbyes. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. Leave a comment. And uh, tell me how you felt about it. And I will see you again very soon. I upload every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And today is the day that I hit 10,000 subscribers, guys. I know I'm going to do a Q&A. You've probably already seen it. I'm just going to throw up a video. Oh, you've already seen it, so I don't need to explain what I'm going to do because you already know what I'm going to do because I already did it. So I hope you enjoyed the Q&A, I guess I could say, because you'll definitely see that video before this one. And I'm just so excited. I never thought I would hit 10,000. And I know I've already thanked you in the Q&A video, but it's so fresh right now because it just happened. And I still want to say something. So thank you. I love and appreciate every single one of you. I plan on doing ASMR for a very, very long time. And I'm very happy that you guys like what I do because I, I do love it. I love what I do so much for you guys. I, I don't, there's so many, I don't, I'm not even gonna get into it. We'll just talk about it, or we've already talked about it in the other video. So, good night, guys. I'll see you later. I hope I helped you relax and uh, escape from the world for a little bit. And uh, like I said, I will see you very soon. Goodbye. Have a good night.